Hey guys, so this is the long-awaited sequel to my PS3 controller video and in this video I'll be showing you how to connect a PS4 DualShock 4 controller to a PC running Windows 10 with a wired USB connection. Now if you're not using an official PS4 controller, I can't guarantee that this method will work, but of course it's worth a try. Also if you're interested in connecting a PS3 controller, I'll put a link to that video in the description. For the PS3 controller, you can use this tool called SCP, but it doesn't really work well with the PS4 controller, so we're going to be using a different method and a tool called DS4 Windows. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your controller is actually unplugged. We'll plug it in later, and then you want to go to this download link that I'll have in the description for DS4 Windows and download the newest version. So whatever that is, for me right now the latest release is 1.7.24, but just make sure you download the uh, newest version. And you want to click on this uh, download link for the zip file. And once it's downloaded, just extract that download and you'll have a folder, so open that up. And then you can launch DS4 Windows. Um, it's always a good idea to launch it through the updater, so just open up the updater and then you can click um, Open DS4W from there. So if you're opening this software for the first time, you'll probably see this uh, prompt automatically pop up, and this is what we're going to do next. But if it doesn't come up automatically, you can always just go to the Settings tab and click on dri uh, Controller Driver Setup, and that'll open up this uh, window. So what you want to do is click on the step one button for the uh, driver install. And it's going to take a little while to download. So once it finishes downloading, it'll open up this setup wizard. Just click next and then click install. And then you can click finish and then you can click finish here as well and then go to the controllers tab. Now for a lot of you it'll say that it's not installed yet and that just means you have to reboot your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It might work automatically for you. If so, you can skip the reboot. So I've restarted my computer and I've opened up DS4 Windows again and as you can see it now says using shared mode. So that means we should be ready to plug in the controller. So just go ahead, plug it in and it'll be automatically detected by the software. So if you want to change any button mappings, you can just go to the Profiles tab and create a new profile, um, throw, in, throw in any name, and then uh, do your customizations. So I'm not going to cover these in detail for this video. If you want me to make a video about that, I definitely can. Just let me know in the comments. Um, and you can save the profile and then select it from this dropdown. So at this point, you should be good to go. Um, your controller should be detected by pretty much any game that supports the use of a controller. Um, if you had any issues throughout this process, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video.